when you did come here i mean it's something that we probably haven't really seen before but you know you did get a little bit of uh media attention outside of oh let's say park here really yeah. uh you know, you had Women's Day, you had uh, yeah. TVNZ, you had Seven Sharp, you did a thing with Hilary Barry, who was like an icon herself. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember that. Like, yeah, like I've I've worked with her for years and uh, she's like one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. But for a hockey player to come play in the NZHL, it's just something we don't normally see. So when, when you were getting that media attention, like what were the Stampede guys making of that? Uh, well, like I'm used to it. I yeah. don't like I was just from like you know who my mom and dad are like I'm I don't really care for it you know like I'll do it um yeah. but that hit oh, what was it Barry Hillary no. Hillary Barry yeah Hillary Barry yeah yeah that it was the funny that was the best that was because she was on the ice wasn't she and there were guys shooting pucks at her not shooting passing pucks at her skates because she and it was the funniest thing man but they didn't they didn't heckle me like they did as you do in all sports it's like oh you've big shot over here blah 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 but <laughs> you know it was just kind of like like all right he's on our team and let's just kind of have fun with it and that's kind of what you need to do you can't really give anyone shit for it but they kind of joined in on the fun she was interviewing me they were shooting pucks at my skates they were passing pucks at her and then at <laughs> one point in the interview, I think she looked over and was like, can you stop doing that? Or something like that. And uh, <laughs> that was probably one of the funnier times because we were just all joking around. But all that other stuff, like, I just enjoy doing it because it grows the – I don't want to say just for me, but, like, it grows the game as well down in New yeah. Zealand. And uh, people in the UK find out about it. A lot more players found out about it. They were asking me, like, what's the season like? How's the hockey? Is it good to stay in shape? And I was like, it's all that. Like it got me in shape for coming to the UK and, mm -hmm. you know, I thank Queenstown for, you know, getting me in shape, even though there was a lot of boozy nights. Harking back to that seven sharp piece. Uh, there was one really funny bit where, uh, That's what it was, you, you had made, you, yeah. you had made the, uh, New Zealand team to play in the winter games. Yeah, and uh, you reveal <laughs> you revealed in that interview that you hadn't actually told your mum yet. Oh so, yeah, nah. Yeah. So did you wait? I I have to know. Did you wait until she saw that on TV, or did you break the news to her as soon as you could? <laughs> I actually can't remember if I waited or not, <laughs> but I remember like I think it was like a week went by, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm like I'm playing for New Zealand, and. Because I told her that, like, I don't want to, like, not not tryouts, but, like, just kind of camp was going on, I guess you could say. Like, we were training and that. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm training with New Zealand, like, this and that. We play Australia in, like, the winter games. She was like, oh, cool. Like, let me know how it goes. And I just never let her know. And then <laughs> I'm not, I can't remember. I, I, wish I, I wish I knew. I wish I could go back and see the text. But I probably didn't. She probably heard it from someone else first because to me like i don't i don't think of it like it's me just doing like i guess you could say like my job i guess or just yeah kind of doing, I, I know what you mean yeah. doing what you're supposed to do and like not thinking anything of it and then it's like oh we won then i'll tell her and it's exciting <laughs> but no she was she was super excited because obviously she's from new zealand um and she was happy to see the the black and white fern as well and she was that's all she ever wanted to see. She was happy when I made GB, but I think for her seeing the hometown colors, she was super excited about that. That is really cool. What about, I mean, that's that's awesome, you know, for your mom, but then say for yourself, what was that like for you putting the, that black jersey on for the first time? Uh, it was pretty cool, man, because I, I never thought I'd have like a chance to, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. like obviously playing for GB and obviously – like the double IHF rules that you have to take certain time off and do this and that. I was like, Oh, it'd be cool to play for New Zealand, but that chance will never kind of come about. Well, it's not, it's not like a double IHF sanctioned. No. Yeah, event, exactly. So yeah. It, it doesn't, yeah. So it doesn't, you know, abide by those rules. So. so I wouldn't have screwed anybody over by pulling a Jersey over anything, but I was, I was super excited and the boys were super nice as well. Like we had a good time just play, like around the room and all that. But, you know, we ended up playing well, and uh, it was a fun series, to be fair. 
Yeah. It was, you could tell there was some heat there. And uh, yeah. those are the best kind of games when you kind of, you know, there's a little fuck you, fuck me contest going out. And it's like, <laughs> all right. And we, you know, we came to play and we lost this. Was it the second? Yeah. We lost the second game, but I don't know. Do we play three games? Uh, three games. I think from memory, New Zealand won the first two, lost the last one. Yeah. Won the I first two. Yeah. That up. Lost the last one. And those those yeah. are always the worst to play in, because you're like we already won, yeah. But we got to play a third game, so how do we take yeah. it? Do and, we just kind of like and that's, that's when guys? the Australians really come out swinging, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, hey, we can't win, so we're gonna try and injure guys. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like, hey, I'm about to go back to the UK and play hockey. I'm not trying to get injured here, but like they were all good about it, and it was still fiery. We we're all laying the body, this and that, and. uh it was fun, man. It was a good time. 